Well, the reason we have a captive breeding program for the Barton Springs salamanders is to help protect the species from extinction. We collect salamanders from the wild, we bring them into captivity and set them up in an environment so that they will reproduce and pass on their genes to their offspring. The Barton Springs salamander has such a limited range, it is only found in Zilker Park. It is found at four spring sites in Zilker Park. And so you could have a contaminant spill on the watershed, go through the aquifer within a short period of time, and reach all the springs at once and kill off all the animals at once. Working with salamanders in captivity and breeding them um, requires us to have an understanding of the animals. Um, so amphibians are not very well understood, including salamanders. And the Barton Spring salamander is difficult to study in the wild because of its small size. It grows to about three inches and it spends part of its life underground in the aquifer. Tracking individual salamanders helps us manage the genetics of the population. Most of what we know about the biology of the Barton Spring salamander we've learned from working with them in captivity. So we track each salamander as an individual. We photograph the salamanders and we keep track of the unique markings on their head and body. It's playing focus games with me. Yeah. And we compare that new photograph with the older photographs in order to identify which individual it is. We can record whether or not they're male or female. We can record what breeding group we've placed them in, in terms of tracking genetics. We can track health issues, and we can keep track of their age. 40, 65 to 40, 70. We don't know how long the salamanders live in the wild, but in captivity, many of our salamanders are living to be about eight to 10 years old. We do have a salamander currently in the captive breeding program that is at least 15 years old, and we have a male that is currently 13 years old. The Barton Spring salamander has external gills, and the blood flowing through those gills takes up oxygen from the water. So we can, we've actually zoomed in with our microscope at those gills, and you can see individual red blood cells moving through. So salamanders in the springs eat the aquatic bugs that live that live underneath the rocks in the springs. So there are several types of freshwater crustaceans called amphipods and ostracods and isopods that the salamanders eat. One of the things that has really impressed me about the salamanders is their ability to regenerate. So if they lose a toe or a foot or an entire limb, they can regrow it. So the medical field's actually studying salamanders in order to understand how it is that they're able to regenerate. Humans have a lot to learn from salamanders, I think. Yeah, yeah I got like a better a shot. Right there. Uh -huh. Working with an animal that you don't know very much about can be very challenging, but it also can be very exciting because you get to um, discover new things about the animals.